solo casting because uh, we have chained LS to the desk. Um, <laughs> that is the only reason why he's still here after we've proven that we're basically picking MVPs out of a hat at this point in time. <laughs> They're rolling the die. You can't argue with the die. <laughs> so Beryl was about as robbed as Deft was with uh, How did much less on the line. get it? I don't know. I don't know, man. There's, there's, okay. there's. All right, there we go. An Maybe. option into Kale actually is to take Olaf towards the top lane and just run at her. And just run at her. That's exactly right. Run her down. Mm -hmm. You run it down. Here we go. Lucian, Lucian jungle. Ah, Remember? that's yeah. it. Score going back to his roots. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, well, KT are showing. But KT need to get to that point in order to make that one happen. It is all on the line now. Do or die for KT. Having a large wave to clear up. Still is good news. Is uh, okay. That's a reckless swing. Is BDD very early flash to try and get to Canyon, and they will be able to get the first blood. Showmaker trying to survive, but he's also taking a lot of damage as the undertow. It does register, but they're not able to dive just yet. And I'm not entirely sure what Dom Juan wanted to do, do just there. Well, That's very peculiar path choice. As Kale now going to come in and mess with score a little bit, try to make sure that Agatha resets. Yep, she does so. Undertow going to land on an Augury there as Smeb. No vision. All the vision in the world here for Damwon. Oh, man. Smeb moving on in. Only level five. Canyon gets in. Good double knockup. Smite comes out from score to keep him alive for a little bit longer, but they Canyon's going to be able to take him down. Smeb going to flash, but not before the stun registers. As now he's gonna get taken for the double kill. Showmaker diving on forward. Peter D has BDD's no mana. He just has to try and walk away as best he can. Brace taker lands. What? 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 Huh? Oh, he tried to flash for level six. Oh. To get back in. Instead, it just looked really silly. Yeah, it looked but KT really to now. Make something work. Hookshot is going to get the stun there onto Nuggery. Remember, he does have the ultimate to keep himself alive for a little bit longer as Smab. He's going to get taken down. Two versus one for Nuggery, but it is going to be the kill. One for one trade. Score picks it up. Smab's not going to be happy, and now it's going to be a free dragon going over to Darmwan and a mountain trade. Get that. Yep, and. Now with the Mountain Dragon to see what Damwon ends up RNGing there. Also, we're going to get the Scuttlecraft to boot. BDD are going to have any chance at contesting this, although BDD does have Teleport available. Ash is on the bottom, but yeah, I really is... doubt oh, that wow. they should be able to contest They're teleporting this. in. Canyon does manage to pick up Shelly. Tunnels away. No knock up to land as Noggery. Damn, that was so close. So elegant. And we're going to see how KT try to fight their way out of it, but really... I just imagine that it can be a bad news bear. Kale, yep, he's looking to make a quick donation. Yeah, yeah almost. Considering it. Celestial Blessing did get himself. Back. He's got his Hextech Gunblade, you know? He can go in and out of these fights with BDD and be pretty comfortable. And now, Damwon, they Whoa. figured it out. That flash was real cute for BDD. He gets out with his Realm Warp, but Snowflower may not be so lucky. He didn't have to use his heal, though, so he's Whoa. fine. A Zeal item and Infinity Edge are completed and might actually have to build something like the QSS in order to keep himself safe from nuclear throwing an arrow at him. Tier 1 boots still for the as well. Yeah, that's the brown bags. Barrel comes over. Demol Demolish prop gonna come in. We'll see you later. Out of tower mid lane. That is all too easy. Gold lead continues to extend ever so slightly. Just yet. So it hasn't actually found the RNG that he did the first time around. He's going to be okay with it, though. He just needs to hang out in the lane wow. for a little bit longer. Cloud from Final Fantasy VII. Oh, yeah. Is the next dragon. So, Dom1 Gaming now with a Clown and Cloud Drake accompanying the Mountain Drake. They're going to be moving real fast. And having that extra in combat movement speed is actually fantastic for a champion like Kale. Yeah. It's only going to augment that Celestial Blessing a little bit more. No stun to come in from the hook shot, and that is really dangerous here as Noggery. Just happy. To turn it around, Arrow is going to pierce the heavens, but not KT. Thankfully for KT fans, Divine Judgment goes down, but there's the gobble up, and he's going to be safe. The Rise has found his way into this pit, but the Lucian, what was that flank? I don't I have understand. No idea. That was a disaster, and BDD is going to get punished for the errors of Gango as well. It has not been a Gango series so far here today.
as KT just fall apart. I believe that's a 5,000 gold lead now almost for Dom Juan, who are making their way over to the Baron. And they have a great team composition for shredding through it. They have the Mountain Drake as well to bolster their damage barrel. Going on Tom duty. He just needs to cave Olaf away from the pit. And without a blasting plant, yep. there's no way for Score to get in. Yep, he has no flash. This is just free for Dom One. Unless they feel like turning instead and getting a whole bunch of kills. But no. Their heads are in the game. They're going to be able to take down this Baron buff. And uh, this is just feeling like lights out for KT. Take a look at how it all happened here. Smeb wanted to go in onto Nuggery. Ended up taking about 40% of his life before he even got started. Being forced to retreat. Enchanted Kistle Hour coming out scorched. Being a bystander on the right-hand side. Kale Ultimate comes in. Barrel using the Devour after the Ultimate expires. Gango with the flank of the year. Ends up going down. And then Don Juan Gaming. What kind of flank of the year award are you giving away? LCK MVP kind of award. What are you ah, talking about? Okay, okay, now it all makes sense. Okay. Three minutes until so that Cloud together. Drake is available. And uh, look, no nice. does a fair bit of damage, guys. That uh, was a lot. Wait, how did Smed do zero damage? We watched him do damage. Uh, maybe they're they're calculating the uh, the mini Baron. Ah, uh, okay. Think? Is that what it was? I'm, I'm not sure. Might have been. I'm a bit perplexed as Dom One are going to a missile voyage over his score. Ragnarok has to be proc, but look at this. Nogri just straight up doesn't care. Can't ult yourself and still auto attack anymore. It is divine judgment, not intervention. So he's not going to be able to keep himself safe underneath that one. Has to respect the inner turret's damage, but he's not going to respect the telfar because it gets obliterated. Nuclear do a fair bit of damage. I think this is about to be all that she wrote. KT's team composition just doesn't have the fuel it needs to still contend. At this point in the game. Yeah, Canyon splitting in the mid lane. He's going to be joined by Showmaker. Inhibitor going to be going down next is KT. How do they even get in? They can't. On oh, Noggery and Nuclear. I just don't think they can either. Absolute disaster here as KT have decided they're going to turn on the two. In the mid lane, give up that inhibitor. No other options really here as, yeah, we do have... Hail 16. Yep. And that is the uh, aircraft carrier from uh, the Avengers that I was talking about before. It does look like that, right? It really does, yeah. Actually. And now they're looking to turn this tower into dust. It is Captain Marvel now as well. Yeah. The Kale is yeah. level 16. So. There we go. But now we've started up the fight. But there's the Divine Judgment. There's the Devourer. And there is a well and truly alive Kale. Yeah. And a Rek'Sai splitting top lane. Ralph 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 coming going in. For it again. There's the flash from Smith. This time is nuclear. He's going to be taken down. That's the long cooldown of the Devourer capitalized on beat. And he gets the second showmaker trying to do damage as Canyon dives on forward. Smith what? is going to go down as now Noggery gets into a great position. Double kill for the Akali. Dives forward with the Void Rushes. Now Canyon, he doesn't care about the concussive blows. Just wants to set up a double kill for Noggery. And someone turn it around. And what looked like was going to be the major team fight turn for KT that might have kept them afloat in this game ends in disaster. It ends the game. Yeah, Dom One Gaming are coming to raise the two Nexus turrets. KT is going to relegations, Atlas. They are. It has finally been confirmed. Dom One Gaming with nothing on the line in this series. Just momentum moving towards the wild card match. They will take down this Nexus. They'll set up their best of three against Sandbox Gaming in a few days' time. A lot of momentum now for them, but none for KT. Or heading towards the best of Challenger. And if you've been watching any of it so far, I know you certainly have, LS, but you guys at home, Challenger's looking scary Yeah, this time around. They're definitely the, the Challenger team. It's just like the last season. They yep. look like they can take out the LCK teams. And so, for those that have not been watching, it's not like KT is just going to go down there and it's going to be a walk in the park. No, no. Same for oh, Jyn Air. No. Even more for Jyn Air, potentially. See Smev still packing his things up. Well-deserved bow here for Dom 1. That's going to be...